G'day, it's Aaron here from Mayfair Plumbing. Uh, today, I just wanna to talk to you about probably one of the more common uh, plumbing issues we get called out to look at, and that's either a stuck or a blocked, um, spring-loaded or pop-up uh, waste. Now, these are typically installed in a hand basin, which you can see that we've got here. But also, in all their wisdom, um, they have been known to be installed in bathtubs as well. So, over time what happens is, um, they either get stuck or blocked or a combination of both. Now, if you're watching this video, then the chances are you've got one of those problems. So, <clears throat> what we advise is that um, to help avoid this problem, there's some small regular maintenance things that we can do um, which try and avoid it getting to a point where major work needs to be done. So this one I'm about to show you today is, is in good condition, it's relatively new. So what we typically do and would advise people to do is you can just twist this little plug a piece, it just spins, so a little thread there, and it just comes off. Let me just put that aside there. And then what you've then got here is actually uh, the spring loaded mechanism. So uh, this one's fortunately easy enough to come off. Sometimes it might require a pair of pliers or something to give it a little twist. And out it comes. And then if you're having issues with the spring part returning, well then this is the bit you need to be dealing with. And what we would suggest is that you get it out and give it a good spray um, inside here with some lubricant, whether it's WD-40, inox, or whatever you use, um, that will help lubricate the spring. But this is all providing things haven't gone too far and it's seized up. But if we're looking at regular maintenance, well, this is what we'd be doing. So you've got the, uh, the plug part off, you've got the spring-loaded mechanism out, and then what you're left with is actually what we call the plug and waste. So you've got the top bit here, and then you've got the bottom section here. So what you've got is this nut that returns, or it does up tight, which locks this chrome piece into the hand basin. So um, because you've got these, first of all, you've got these three little bars here, but then you might be able to see down the bottom, there's also another little bar that comes across we're creating a lot of obstacles for things like hair. Oh, look, whatever you put down a hand basin, you'll be surprised what we see uh, to get stuck. And so, you know, if you're trying to do regular maintenance, once you've got these parts out, we would, you know, use something like a long toothpick or something like that that's long and skinny enough to go down in between these holes and uh, free up any of the the debris that might be their hair and muck and stuff like that. And you could, you know, even have the tap running while you're just giving a little poke around down there um, to free it up. And then from there, if you're still not having too much success, uh, you can always, you know, give it a little plunge. But remember to always have your finger over the overflow. Otherwise, you're not going to get the suction you need to pump the debris through uh, what we call here like an S-bend or a U-trap. Uh, you need to be able to then force it through here and back over and down into the drain. So we're getting it through the water seal or the airtight seal, which eliminates sewer gases coming back up and into the hand basin. So if for some reason though you've left it too long and um, it is beyond repair, whether it be the spring neck um, or the plug has seized up, maybe the rubber ring has just perished and become brittle, 
Unfortunately, there's not one universal uh, plug and waste on the market, which makes it pretty tricky for us and for you as well. So what you would most likely need to do is either take some photos or take this with you if you can um, to your plumbing merchant and show them what you've got. The likelihood is there's gonna be two or three different types. If, let's say you can't get this out or you've got it out, but you've manipulated it and, and mangled it up so bad that it's not identifiable. Well, you can always go and buy a couple of different ones and bring it back home, use what you need to and take the rest back for a credit. Uh, what we would try and avoid doing is having to actually have the whole physical plug and waste assembly removed from the hand basin because the likelihood is further damage is going to occur to the ceramic bowl. You've got a, a piece of metal here that's silicon sealed into ceramic. You're then trying to unspin this uh, component. The metal's twisting on the ceramic. And next thing you know, it's either gonna mark it severely with black marks or it's gonna chip it and break and we've got a whole new problem on our hands. So what you'd ideally try and do is get back here and just remove the components that you need from your new plug and waste and just screw them in. So let's say this is the new bit that you need. Uh, you just screw it in. Doesn't even need to be done up tight with a pair of pliers, just firm with hands. And then uh, the plug component goes back on. Once again, you probably don't wanna be over tightening these things because if you now are at the point where you've got a brand new assembly in, we well, ideally wanna be following these steps for maintenance every week or every few weeks to avoid it getting to this point again. Um, and then away you go. So hopefully that's given you a few little hints and tips on how to fix or prevent uh, a pop-up waste or a spring-loaded plug, whatever you call it. Um, hopefully this has been of some assistance to you. Have a good day.